hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch ghost runner 2 game on your windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue now the first step is to restart your computer do not ignore this step restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then check still you are facing the problem in that case remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click of the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file and then click on open so make a double click and launch the game instead of launching the game from steam you can launch the game from the game installation folder make a double click launch the game if this exe does not work open this ghost runner 2 folder binaries win64 and then use this exe file so make a double click on this exe file and then check now still you're facing the problem in that case make a right click on the first exe file select properties now go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game as an administrator if that does not work you can try this second exe file do the same thing make a right click select properties and then select put a check on run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still you're facing the problem then with the first exe again make a right click and then select properties and then this time Put a check on disable full screen optimization apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again put a check over here and then select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time select windows 7 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game you can still you're facing the problem do the same thing with the second exe file make a right click select properties and then put a check on disable full screen optimi optimization apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work then this time select windows 8 click on apply click on ok and launch the game if that does not work you, you can even try windows 7 click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game still if you're facing the problem in that case uncheck all the boxes whichever boxes you have checked uncheck all the boxes over here click on apply ok go back do the same thing with the first exe file uncheck all the boxes if it's not working and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update over here you will see check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after windows update and then launch the game next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open program files x86 i'm sorry open the users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data folder in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box put a check on the box and then you should be able to open app data folder now open the local folder now over here you can see ghost runner 2 folder make a right click and then click on delete now once this is deleted now launch the game and then check now the next step is to now this is for desktop users make sure that your monitors display cable is connected to the graphic card slot so if you have a dual graphic card so in my case i have a dual graphic card for desktop users make sure that your your cable your monitor display cable is connected to the discrete graphic card slot the dedicated graphic card slot so on the back of the tower or maybe in the front of tower there might be a separate slot for your discrete graphic card so you can plug in the display cable to the discrete graphic card instead of motherboard slot the motherboard slot has an intel integrated graphic card so try to so make sure that you connect the game to 
discrete graphic card and then launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select your product type make sure that you select the right product type over here then select the right series make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here now if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on start search now scroll down over here you can see the latest geforce game ready driver is 545.92 this this is the latest one right now so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the new version so let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now laptop uses virtual graphic card so run the game on dedicated graphic card so type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so in the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open the steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the ghost runner 2 folder now select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this ghost runner 2 folder binary is win64 select this win64 shipping.exe file so select the second exe file once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 in windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps open this ghost runner 2 binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder open the game folder now once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added once that is done click on allow another app again click on browse and then open the second folder second select the second exe file now click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game so once you have the game over here so once you have the game added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game file now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now after the verification launch the game and then check next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor disconnect additional controller connected to the computer sometimes you have extra controller connected disconnect it also if you have these devices connected disconnect all the usb adapter or usb devices which you are not using disconnect all the usb devices also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game 
turn this off and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in this Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in G4, 16, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Reward Tuner running, make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also turn off or close these services or software. So make sure that you close all the third party services and application on your computer. Make sure only the Steam or only the Epic Games Launcher and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all your browsers, especially the Chrome browser. So make sure that you close all the third party application, including the browser and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervoted your computer, remove the undervote and then launch the game. Perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64. Make sure that you download both x86 and x64 and run both the exe files. So if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have just installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this error. Error. You will you will be able to install it. Now run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. 
Again, in my case, both are already installed. So make sure that you install both x86, x86 and x64. And at the end, you will see restart option. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to, now if you're able to launch the game, try window mode, turn off ray tracing and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now go to settings, go to video. Now over here, if full screen is selected, you can try borderless window or you can even go for window mode. Now lower down resolution. Now if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now turn off AMD FSR 2, but if you want to turn it on, you can select quality over here. So try quality. If that does not work, you can turn off AMD FSR 2. Also turn off DLSS, turn it off, scroll down. Now over here, if these are these settings are set to epic or high, you can select medium over here. You can even go for low quality. So select medium. I will select low over here. You can even turn off the shadow quality if you want. So try to lower down graphic settings over here and then check the performance. So I'm selecting medium. I will set the frame rate limit to 60. You can try 60 or maybe 120 and then check the performance. Turn off VSync. Now, if ray tracing is enabled, turn off ray tracing. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So turn off ray tracing and then apply settings and now check the performance. Now, next step is to update your system BIOS. Now, to update your system BIOS, go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select the latest BIOS update available and install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer, then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall the game and then reinstall it to the SSD. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. And after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then reinstall the game to different drive. If your drive is SSD, that would be great. So try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.